What it do, what it do, what it do. I want to welcome you to the face of the franchise with Mr. Telefero. I'm the face of the franchise. Uh, my team just ain't good right now. I'm going to be honest with you. If you have not watched an episode thus far, you, you pretty much ain't missed nothing but a lot of else. Um, we ain't good right now. We're coming off like three straight losses. Anybody that's been watching the episodes, you know the Bears and the Vikings really twacked my ass. Tough loss against Aaron Rodgers last week. Damn overtime loss to him and the Green Bay Packers. We need a win. We need a win. We got the Houston Texans right now. I don't know how confident I am about this game. J.J. Watt, Javid, Davian Clowney, all them boys. That, that shit kind of scared me a little bit. I'm going to be honest. I really ain't happy about the matchup. But we got to go out there and get a win. I'm looking at my schedule like, yo, we got to win some games. We ain't going to make the playoffs. I want to make the playoffs my rookie year. So, Houston Texans. I'm heading to Houston. I'm bringing my Oakland Raiders with me. I hope they show up, damn it. It feels like I'm coming by my damn self so far. Let's see if we can get this dub. Let's get it. My Oakland Raiders in Houston to take on the Texans. Out the gate, first drive. Mr. Telefero to Hunter Renfro. His first receiving touch out of the year. Then he do his little dance with it. We're tied at seven. Let me get that rock back. Uh-oh, here comes that Texans pressure. Pressure is being applied by Jadavian Clowney with the sack. Ooh, that's ugly. More pressure from these damn Texans. This time it's Marcellus sacking me. So every which way I go, I'm getting tackled. We punt the ball and get it back. Let's move on to the third quarter here. Oh, complete it. And we got a little daylight. Down to the 31-yard line. 14-7 Texans up. We're driving, no family. Hey, we in the house at the 18-yard line. It's first and 10. Another completion. Uh-oh. We're down to the two. Should be an easy chip in to tie this game up, right? No. McKinley with the sack. We go backwards 10 yards. I have a habit of going backwards. If you have, if this is your first video watching me, newsflash, my line sucks. I'm thinking I'm about to tie the game up here. Right now, it's Marone, the touchdown. We're tied at 14, right? At that. Technically, I got down to the one-yard line. They call this one back. No touchdown. The crazy thing is my trash-ass Texas team would take a field goal and we miss. So the score would remain 14-7. Now I'm down 21-7, looking to put up two touchdowns in one quarter. Fourth quarter underway. We need me to be hero me. I need to turn in like Cam Newton or Andrew Luck or somebody. Quickly. Now we need a score. Hey, it's Renfro in the end zone. Quickly. We get a touchdown. I'm down 21-14 here. Can we get a stop? Get the ball back. And maybe, just maybe, I score. Oh, my gosh. I almost lose the game right there. I fumble. But we get it back. Shout out to one of my linemen. They don't block, but at least they saved this game. And this is the game on second and 11. I think this changed everything. Pass interference. We get a first down. Gain six yards. It's second and four. And a beautiful ball right here to the sideline. The Gresham. His sixth catch for 66 yards on the day. What a beautiful throw and catch with 2.36 to go. On first and 10, I go down. A 12-yard loss. No. No. We need positive yardage. It's Gresham across the middle of the field. First down. Two bit of warning. We go incomplete on first and 10. On second and 10. It's Gresham in the end zone. Across the middle of the field. With time. At 21. Let's go. Look at the route by Gresham. He's wide open. Literally just break his defender. He broke him. Touchdown. We'd actually get a shot to win this game. We force the Texans to go three and out. And now we got a chance. I take off a run. Very risky. Give me eight yards, though. No fumble. Second and two. I try to go wide receiver screen. At now. Goes backwards. Third and nine. A big third and nine here. Oh, it's across the middle of the field. We got a guy. Complete. 
to the 34 yard line. Now, can we have something in the end zone to win the game? No. First and 10 from the 34, nothing. Second and 10 now. Oh, the same route again. He's open. It's caught. Game winning field goal. And that's it. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. That's game. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's how you play football. That's how you play football. Let's go. Let's go. That's a dub. Y'all saw your boy fourth quarter clutch. Clutch Gene. That's what I'm talking about. That's my best game thus far. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. And and you was able to see my 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 me just kind of, you know what I mean, finesse and finagle and get my team where it needed to be that last drive. And give my defense a little credit. If they can keep the opponents around 21 points, I got to be able to ball out and put up at least 24. We got to be able to put up 24 points. Salute to my defense. 21 from your boy. I finally played a team where their quarterback probably gets hit more than I do. Deshaun Watson be taking a beat, and the Texans line is trash. So my defense is probably able to make some plays. All right. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's go, baby. Big time dub. Hopefully this changes our season around. Ah, Houston, y'all took an L. Y'all got Teleferrold, <laughs> courtesy of your boy. Mr. Teleferrold, thank you so much for the time, love, support. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Hopefully, I got more dubs like that in the chain, but probably not. But hopefully, we get it turned around after that big time win that could change the season around. Let's go. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, support. Don't take a grand salute. Until next episode.